the small, secluded house, the gloomy basement, the terrifying monsters, every frame stimulates the nerves of the audience. On a cold and rainy night, Tess arrives in a small remote town. Due to work, she booked a house online, but strangely, a man named Keith lived in the house. She was immediately confused. Had she gone to the wrong place? The two quickly checked the internet and found that she had made a mistake. And Keith, the man, asked Tess to sleep in the room and Keith moved to the living room sofa. And Tess lured her guard against this strange man. The next morning, when Tess woke up, he had already left on business. The man kindly left a note for her, telling her to put her keys in the box and wishing her good luck in her interview. When Tess came out of the house, she was horrified to see that the small town was very dilapidated. And all the houses had become uninhabited houses, as if something terrible had happened here. In a hurry to get to the job interview, Tess did not take the matter seriously. However, when she returned from the interview, a homeless man suddenly rushed towards her as soon as she got out of the car, scaring Tess. She became angry and tried to open the door, but she couldn't enter the password. As the homeless man approached, Tess took out her keys and finally escaped into the room. She was shocked by this state of affairs and quickly called the police for help. But the operator told her that there were no officers available and hung out. In a state of shock, Tess wanted to go to the toilet, but found that there was no toilet paper. After searching around for a while, she finally found it in the creepy basement. However, just as she wanted to go in there, the basement door mysteriously closed automatically, no matter how she tried to open it. Her cell phone was also outside, and she only had the front door key with her. Fortunately, Tess found a window in the basement and wanted to find a hammer to break the glass and escape, but she accidentally found a rope on the wall. Out of curiosity, Tess slowly pulled on the rope. At that moment, the wall beside her slowly opened a hole. To her surprise, there was a rope coming out of the wall. Nonetheless, driven by her curiosity, she boldly went inside. With the remaining light, she found another door. Tess carefully opened it. The room was strange with an ancient camera, a bloodstained bed, a smelly trash can, and bloody handprints on the wall. All indications were that this visit to the dark room was not right. Tess, frightened, quickly turned around and walked out. Suddenly, there was a knocking sound. Tess immediately knocked on the window hoping to attract the attention of the person knocking. However, when Keith returned from his trip, the two worked together to open the door. Tess quickly handed over the key to open the door back into the room. Tess told Keith about the secret visit to the basement and asked him to leave the place immediately. However, Keith was not scared, but instead aroused her curiosity. He told Tess that he suggested going down to check it out, while Tess could only agree to guard the door. However, after Keith went downstairs, he completely lost contact. Tess anxiously went down to check on him, but at that moment, the door again closed quietly. At the critical moment, Tess propped the door open with a chair. Then, she cautiously entered the room, but Keith had already strangely disappeared. Tess was certain that such a big man could not have just disappeared. So she went outside with a flashlight to look for him. Soon, she found a door in the wall. When she opened the door, what she saw was a deep and endless dark path. Tess suddenly had an ominous premonition. She screamed Keith's name at the top of her lungs, and finally, there was a weak answer from below. Tess could have left, but her kindness kept her from doing so. After an inner struggle, Tess still chose to go down to save Keith. Fortunately, she made it safely to the bottom. She found many rusty iron cages laid out below, as if something terrible had happened here. Tess screamed for Keith with sobs, terrified. Suddenly a figure ran out of the darkness. It was Keith who was running away. He said that there was a horrible monster below that had just attacked him and now he was guarding the exit. When the two were still arguing, a black shadow suddenly appeared from the darkness, hitting Keith on the head, and Tess was trapped. Then the monster disappeared into the darkness towards Tess, and it is unknown what happened. A few days later, a man came to the house. The man's name was AJ, a fairly famous actor. He was the owner of the house. He became poor because of a lawsuit but he didn't know for sure that it was his house. Something went wrong with the house when he came home and didn't realize there was a crazy monster. The basement door was locked and the house was full of foreign objects. He thought there were people hiding in the basement, so he took the weapons at hand and entered with a flashlight. Nothing unexpected happened. He also pulled the rope on the wall and found something strange, which was surprising and a little happy, thinking he could make more money. He quickly picked up a fully automated storage bin, but accidentally found a deeper secret passage. He became more enthusiastic and only wanted to find more, completely ignoring the hidden dangers. Suddenly, he saw a light at the deepest point. When he approached, he saw that the room was messy and a TV was playing a children's video. When he was confused, he was suddenly pulled by someone, scaring him, and he finally realized the danger. He turned and ran, almost bumping into the monster, 
then suddenly fell into a trap. The monster also closed the exit door, and he was shocked. Tess is not dead and is still alive. She had become a specimen and had to follow the monster's will, otherwise she would most likely lose her life. Suddenly, the monster lowered the large metal cover. Tess quickly climbed onto it, not wanting to die. It seemed that she had figured out the monster's intention to treat them like children who had to be fed. AJ, being an actor, didn't want to drink anything that could kill him. At that moment, the monster suddenly jumped up and threw something. Meanwhile, Tess secretly escaped the trap but was accidentally noticed by the monster and was immediately chased. Tess ran to the door but it was locked. Tess had no choice but to endure the pain and use her arm to smash the small window. Just in time, a man saw her and helped her. The man was a homeless man from the scene that chased her earlier. He already knew about the monster inside. Tess who has run away still wants to come back to save AJ. But the homeless man tells her to leave fast or the monster will catch her in the night and there are more horrible things in it. On the other hand, AJ arrives in a smelly room and finds lots of women's clothes around and sees a horrible old man lying in bed, who is also a victim. AJ kindly reminds him that monsters will find this place soon. The old man listened quietly, as if he wasn't afraid of anything. The police had arrived here, but the police found nothing and said there was something that needed to be done. And then the police left, leaving only Tess waiting to die here. Meanwhile, there are new discoveries here. AJ finds a lot of tapes and only then he knows that the old man is not a good person. He did many heinous things when he was young. Suddenly, the old man took out a gun and pointed it at his head and killed himself. Tess was still agitated, so she made some noise outside the house on purpose, and the monster came out. Tess was fearless and even directly rammed the monster into the wall. Seeing the monster, finally there was no movement, and Tess rushed into the basement to find AJ, but was shot by AJ in panic and was lucky not to hit a vital point. As the two walked out of the house, Tess was horrified to find that the monster on the car had left, and they knew they had to leave immediately. On the way, they meet a tramp who takes them to his safe house. He then told the story of the monster. It turned out that the monster was also a pitiful person. She was caught by the old man, and then abandoned. Due to a genetic mutation, she ended up becoming like a monster. But as she got older, she also had the idea of becoming a mother, until she became who she is today. The homeless man said that the two of them, had to spend the night here. After all, the monster had never been here before and the monster came in as soon as the words were said. The kind-hearted homeless man was torn to pieces on the spot, and the two people behind fled. As soon as they climbed the iron tower, the monster chased after them. They wanted to fight back with their weapons, but they couldn't help it out of nervousness. There is nowhere to escape. The man suddenly had a sharp look in his eyes, and he pushed Tess down. But at this moment, the monster that had taken Tess as its child jumped up and caught her before she could land. AJ comes to them both apologizing. But before Tess could speak, the monster suddenly stood up and killed AJ. The monster already considers Tess as a child and loves her. But Tess takes the opportunity to shoot and kill the mad monster and the movie ends. If you like this video don't forget to subscribe. Because by subscribing you have supported me to make better videos. What movie do you want next? Just comment below. Have a nice day.